Hey guys, John here, flying the E-Flight Ultimate 3D. You guys wanted to see it, so we're gonna show it. I need to go ahead and put the stick camera on. I forgot to do that real quick, but for the time being, keep in mind that I'm flying this for Hangar 18 Hobbies in beautiful Cary, North Carolina. The uh, shop is awesome. Swing by if you're local, say hi to Brian, and they will hook you up with pretty much almost anything you need. And if they don't have it, they'll order it for you. Check them out on social too. You find them on facebook.com slash hangar 18 hobbies, instagram.com slash hangar 18 hobbies, and tiktok.com slash at, at symbol hangar 18 hobbies. Coming right back, put the camera on myself. Oh, he's getting a nice overview of the model there. This is a fun little plane, you know? All right, so one of the things we've done is we're flying with the AGF RC servo replacement. Links are in the description if you want them. They're two for 20 on Amazon. Cost me, what is it, 40 bucks to do this whole plane. They have so much more torque and precision than the, the stock servos could even dream of. And because this is an Avian BE or an ESC is kicking out six volts, they're actually operating at full torque and full potential. So they're awesome. 100% recommend getting them if you can. Zach was here uh, from Tail Heavy Productions and he got a chance to fly this thing, man. He made me look like a clown. I'm going to turn on my stick camera so you guys can see what it is that I'm doing. Somehow forgot to do that. Thrust away for days on this thing. Let's put her into a quick knife edge spin. As good as the throttle's going to do it anyway. One minute. It does have a very precise Hi. set of movements it needs. 3D. Quick rolling Harrier. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wind's catching her. Oh, wind's catching her. Make her go into a standard Harrier. Slow her down real good. Winds are very strange at this airport. Feels like a calm wind sometimes, but the planes will rock and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Plus, I haven't flown this model in a bit, so I'm still getting used to it. Quick torque roll. Now that I've had a lot of practice on the turbo timber with torque rolls, they're nowhere near as hard as they used to be. I could make them even more precise if I practice them a bit more. Battery 14.9 volts. Had to throttle out of that one because I misjudged how much uh, the wind was going to carry it forward. If you don't give it enough throttle in the wind when it's pushing it, it will act really weird. Get a nice Harrier down the runway here. Little wing rocky. Battery 15.3 volts. Start getting wondering about my cameraman safety when it starts doing weird stuff like that. So always throttle out when in doubt. Channel motto, that and I break my stuff so you don't have to. Get her back into it on a knife edge. Make sure my hands are staying put for the camera. Battery 15 if I, volts. If I start feeling a little bit of anxiety, I start doing weird stuff and move my hands around. I need to remember not to do that. Three minutes. Some of the best torque rolling I've ever done in this plane. I'm still getting better at it. Of course I chickened out of it at the last second. It starts feeling weird. When it's just me, it's fine. But when I got my friend here and I got to make sure I don't hit Battery him with the plane, you know, safety is paramount besides just hot dogging. Wind 
wind's starting to kick up, say about eight miles an hour right now. A little turbulent out here. Screw that one up a little bit. Battery 14.6 volts. Whee! Make her go over and do a quick stall turn. With some weird uh, rolls mixed into it. Four minutes. She's got some wing loading for sure. Even with those uh, biplane wings, she's got a, a weird tendency. Sometimes when you come out of Harriers, if you don't get it just right on the stick movements. Battery 14.9 volts. That was pretty cool. I didn't intend to put it into a hover from there, but I did. You know, I put, probably could put it into the higher uh, AS3X setting to get some more stability. There we go. That's better. It's starting to feel more locked in now. The winds are definitely having an effect on it. Battery 14 volts. Yeah, much less slippery feeling. I know some of you guys don't like to fly with AS3X, and you know what? That's cool. I feel like gyros are really useful on windy days, though. On days without wind, I'll fly without it, no problem, but I don't want my plane going in a place where I don't know where it's gonna go. Five minutes. Sorry, bud, I know it's kind of going all over the place. Check our battery voltage. Battery 14.6 volts. Probably should make plans to land here shortly. Hope this kind of stuff helps you guys out to see how these moves are done. And you know, if you screw up a torque roll, right, a lot of the times you can just throttle out of it because the plane's natural inclination is to go where the nose is pointing. All right, let's bring her in. Make a nice looking Battery landing. We're gonna try to stall it because I don't want to do a, a nose landing. Trying to avoid hitting the propeller, which I think I just did. Throttle cut. It totally did. That prop's busted. That's why I didn't want to hit the uh, prop on the ground. That would, <laughs> it don't take it too well. So we're gonna have to swap out of this Zor prop. I think I have a spare, but I'm not gonna waste that on this plane. Like if you look at the uh, 13 inch diameter, like it's almost where the wheels are sitting. So unless you get that landing perfect every single time, you're gonna break the prop. But I do have some uh, plastic 13 by fours. We'll swap out and fly it again here in a minute. All right guys, welcome back. We're taking the Ultimate 3D back up one more time on the last battery that I've got. Synchronizing the elevator so I know what to do. And here we go. And by know what to do, I mean uh, synchronizing the camera footage. Going from flying jets to flying a tiny little biplane is an interesting experience. Since the aileron's on the prop wash, 30 seconds. you can do all sorts of cool stuff like that. Crazy snap rolls that this plane will just do without a hesitation. Get her turned over, back over to us. Hopefully Tony's having a good time keeping track. Should be, the guy's a pro level videographer as far as I'm concerned. One minute. Definitely didn't want to do that. A little bit of a nose up tendency there. There we go. Some rolling harriers. Just about lost it. Quick reflexes will help save your plane. That not doing the wrong stick movement when you turn around. Back into some more torque rolling.
move over here. There we go. Get her into a nice, slow knife edge pass. If I can get her to stabilize. She definitely does not want to stabilize. I'm not giving it the right commands, and there's a little bit of wind acting on it. There we go. Now I got her stabilized. A little bit of back elevator pressure helps kick her around. Let's go straight up, do another knife edge spin. On this plane, it's not the normal move. I have to push both sticks inward into the top. Three minutes. Some weird stick movement. Sometimes it's up into the top, sometimes it's elevator only with tons of rudder. Quick snap to flop her around. A little bit of wind coming from my right and Tony's right here. Janky. It's gotta get better. Battery 14.5 volts. Let's go over in this grass over here. Volts. So I'm going to just own rolling Harrier without me, I'm just like literally holding the sticks. Sometimes it's all you got to do is just find the right stick movement and hold it. Let's put her into a snap hover real quick. Definitely kind of hard to hold that one. Definitely getting kind of hard to hold it. Battery 14.6 volts. Very, very tough to torque roll this plane sometimes in the wind. And especially when you're giving it the wrong stick inputs and overcorrecting too much. Like I may not have enough expo on this plane to properly hover it sometimes. Five minutes. As they say sometimes you just need a little bit of stick movement to get the same results. So I just need to stop being so fat fingery on it. Bring her back in. Battery 14.6 volts. Whee! Didn't hit the prop though. Even that with that kind of goofy looking landing there. I think I bent the gear a little bit. Absolutely bent it. There we go. There's the There's 3D some. moves with the extra, there you go. Not actually the uh, ultimate 3D. What a pain in the butt this little plane is, but it's a ton of fun to fly. Although I do recommend flying it when there's no wind. A little bit of a bend on the gear. I think the, yeah, this one bent. That's what happened. Let's bend them back in position here, get them up and out of the way. They're easy to bend, which is really nice. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. See you out there.